Hell, Cyber Demon. How you doing? Good. Nice. Where Where's Lamb bent, bent at? Uh, I don't know, but we're just gonna start without him, and he'll join when he ever he gets on. Cool. Nice. So, uh, what's going on? With me? Yep. Oh, wait, is that Lambent? Oh, alright, I guess Lambent's here. Welcome to Gaming Talk Live, episode 5. I guess he hanged up. Rip. Anyway, uh, do you have the chat room so that you can see people's questions and stuff? Or do you want me to link that to you? Yeah, who, me? Yeah, you. Oh, uh, you probably want to link it to me. Alright. Oh, you're on Twitch TV? Yeah, I'm on. Alright, I'll send you the link. Alright, just let me go. Okay, I got. Let me copy that real quick. Copy selection. I had this. It sucks, though, being here because there's just too much snow. Where are you at? Washington. Oh. Yeah. That's the downside to all this stuff. It usually doesn't snow that often from where I'm from, but whatever. It's It snowed a lot here recently. Yeah. Because you live on the East Coast. Yup. Yep. That's the downside to all this. Let me uh, turn off the... Yeah, it's probably better. Yeah, just like, take the chat and then, you know, read what people say. Yeah. Cool. I'm just, uh, muting all the ads. Okie dokie. And stuff, because... Oh, we got three people. Yep. Alma Bender said hi. I just tweeted out the link, so we get some more people. I told John Rambo about this. Yeah, I saw that. I wonder if he's going to show up. <laughs> did you not. know on, did you know though on the Ramborsian side with a uh, smart guy one I'm the second most popular Ramborsian wait what on on the Ramborsian website stayballsy.com or whatever it's called mm -hmm. on the forums uh, smart guy one or David or I Dave I that guy that's your business. Yeah. He basically did a poll on who's the most popular uh, Ramborgian, and I came in second. Do you have a link to that poll? Yeah, hang on a second. All right. I mean, you may not like the guy. That's your business mate, but whatever. He, be he betrayed me. We were buddies, and then, you know, we got into war, and then, you know, it just uh, escalated. Crap! I can't get to the link because it's on his, on his uh, Skype link. But oh well. Who was number one? Who beat Who beat Rex? Uh, other people that don't like the Ramborgians. Dang. So technically, I was number one, but I have to be fair. Well, I mean, fair is fair. So what games have you been playing recently? This is Gaming Talk Live, so let's talk about some games. I've been playing Pokemon, old school Pokemon games. Nice. I almost beat the Pokemon Fire version, but I'm having difficulty trying to get Dive and stuff so I can capture some Pokemon because I'm trying to battle the Elite Four. Mm. And they just keep wait, whooping my butt because... All their Pokemon on are so freaking powerful. Nice. Well, I mean, all you have to do is really... Are you playing on an emulator or a console? Or, like, you know, the Game Boy thing? Game, Game Boy... I'm playing on DS. Oh. White. Yeah, on emulator it's easy because you can just speed things up and just do a bunch of battles in, like, five minutes, but... 
Yeah, it's gonna take a while if you want to grind. So, usually need some yeah. good moves. <laughs> hey, Lambin. Hey. Yeah, we just we're going on for like five minutes now. Welcome. Yeah, Skype Mobile accidentally picked up the call, so I was. <laughs> yeah, we heard you. You're like shifting yeah. around or something. Yeah, I was walking. <laughs> walking from <laughs> Flint back to Flint. No. No. I thought you lived in. Oh, never mind. So uh, we got Rex here today. What's going oh. on? Here? What's up? We we're just talking about Pokemon. You play Pokemon, right, Lambent? Can you chime in on the conversation? Yeah, it's a cool game franchise. I agree. It can be very addicting, too. Uh huh. Speaking of uh, Pokemon, what's going on with your Meowth solo run? It's not done yet. Oh, it'll be done soon. Don't worry it'll be about done that. Soon. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> I wish Mark Crown was here. Yeah, but me too. I heard he doesn't like me. I don't know why. I tried to ask him, but he wouldn't answer. Oh, why do you think he doesn't like you? I have no idea. <laughs> You're a funny guy. That's the... What? Yeah, I said you're a funny guy. Someone said in the chat, Rex, are you drunk? Got a chat question here? Uh, no, I'm not drunk. I don't drink. What's your opinion on drinking? Are you a straight edge? Who, me? Or yeah. Or left? Well, both of you. Um, uh. I'm just against it because it all it does is just cause damage and stuff, but... If other people do it, that's their business, but I will not take part in any drinking. Yeah, I I agree. Yeah, I'm not a drinker either. So, <sighs> Got a unanimous going on. So what's your opinion on like other forms, like, you know, drugs, Rex? Uh, drugs are bad. Like, are we talking about medical drugs or... Like well, just drugs in general. Medical drugs, it can be okay as long as you get from a doctor and you medically need them. But, like, uh, drugs with, uh, like, marijuana, cocaine and stuff, that stuff is bad just because it damages your body mm. and stuff and stuff. And I just don't like taking part of that stuff. But I take medication to help me and well, That's stuff. respectable. Yeah. So we got a chat question here from Live the Vita. Says Rex, what's your opinion on religion? I uh, religion's cool, I guess. It just depends. There's some overbearers with religion, though, too, because I'm I am religious, so I do try to keep the Sabbath day holy on Sunday, and try to keep those commandments and stuff because it's just everything from my point of view. But I'm not like a super Christian that says. I'm not one of those guys that will say, oh, you're this bad person. It's like, hate the sin, but don't hate the sinner. That's that's fine words. So, like, today is Sunday, so do you think, like, everything's going to be okay with us doing this podcast? Yeah, because it's just friends, get group of guys getting together. We're not, like, going outside working or anything. Or Did you, like, ask permission or anything? Or you just... Yeah. No, you don't need to ask permission for this. Right. You just need to know in the bottom of your heart that I redeem yeah. the command. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not familiar with this. I'm an ex-Mormon, so... I don't know. Okay, that's that's commendable. That's, that's your <sighs> business, Mormon. Yep. Yeah, that, that's not our business. My business is my business. So we've uh, got a chat question here. Rex, what would Jesus do? I don't know the context behind this, but... Yeah, they seem like some weird questions. You don't have to answer that if you don't want to. Yeah, it's, that's it's... a little weird from someone, but... Yeah, that's a little s stingy for my taste, though. Are you talking about the elephant one? No, the Jesus one. Oh, well, we got another one here from Cerno. Rex, what is your opinion on elephants and in turn sex with elephants? I think it's they're animals. Let them do what they want. Hmm. 
What I is your know. opinion on the whole elephant porn craze going on on the streets today? <laughs> John Rambo went way too far with that. So can you explain what like who John Rambo is for our non Ramborgian listeners here? John Rambo has a podcast show called Present the Show. Him and OJ call or aka John Hamilton, but his name is other John and stuff, so we call him OJ, where he just has the show basically f- every Wednesday, f- five o'clock my time, but eight o'clock his time. And he did a vid on elephant porn and I just like what the heck is this so you were on that podcast uh, once or twice can you like explain how your feelings are like towards your appearance <coughs> what's okay? the question well I said you were on that podcast a few times can you explain what it's like being on a podcast yeah they're f- very friendly guys very uh, honorable ish I mean OJ seems pretty cool. John's not. It's John's cool too. I mean, they're I very. Res, they're very accepting towards people, and that's what I have to say about them. Nice. <clears throat> so, how do you feel about this podcast so far? Is it going all right? Yeah. Cool. So we've um, got um. Wait, what? <clears throat> one Fine. thing that Trump. One thing that traumatized me when I went to a WWE Raw event is I saw CM Punk dancing in his underwear, and that was disgusting. Dang. Yeah, it like, sounds pretty scarring. I wouldn't be able to handle that. Probably get some eye transplants. It's because mm-hmm. Booker T made him come out. Mm-hmm. I was like, dude, that's not right. But it's all not right, left let's either. Go Let's go on with the questions. All right, we've got a we got a chat question from Sheffy Bro. What is your opinion on rectal prolapse? What's that? That's well, an that's, opinion. That's, that's a good question. Um, yeah, that Sheffy would, Bro, that can you follow up, please? Opinion. Yeah, we need we need, we need more context up. with your question. You know, we aren't respond. We, I mean, we don't really test the quality of these questions. So, you know, if you're if you're gonna ask us a bad question. We'll ask you to enhance it a little bit. So, so we got another chat question here. Rex, what is your opinion on the porn industry, and which genre uh, is your favorite? I'm against porn. Okay, okay, well then it doesn't seem like you would have a favorite genre. Oh, I another chat question. Another chat Lambent, question. What is your stance on cyber being a meme game running nerd? Uh, I don't. I don't think That's games can. I don't know. Like. The word meme like makes my blood boil. So, <laughs> um, I would say he plays games that aren't really played that much, and it doesn't make them memes. Like I don't understand how they're memes. They're video games. Um, but I mean, like anything can be a meme, I guess, in the right context. Uh, so yeah, I don't really care about what games he plays. All right, that's respectable. I mean, he's yeah. always played games that I wouldn't play, so I shouldn't really hate on him because of that. It's not like he does it because they're not known. It's because he likes games that a lot of people don't like, and it doesn't even have to do with other people. It's just about what games someone enjoys. Dang. So that makes him a meme, I don't know, I, I guess. Yeah, I'm a meme too because I've posted my voice on the Internet, so I guess According I'm a to a, a, a poll, I am the second meme master. So, I don't know what that means, but... No, I think that's just 4chan lingo for a person. <laughs> yeah, alright, so we got another chat question here. Is this live gameplay in the background? This is a live gameplay from our live game player. I actually hired him on last week, and he's been playing games for us. He's in the corner over there. He's just playing the game while uh, we're doing our thing. Uh, I'm kidding. We got a question from Bill Cosby. What is Rex's opinion on Flappy Birds being taken off the Google Play Store? What do you think about that, Rex? Uh, that sucks, I guess, if you're into, if you like Flappy Birds, but I know I don't, we, I don't even I know don't, what that is. Do you, do you know it's that? a game. It's a game. phone game, which you, uh, <laughs> you, you play as a bird and you're trying not to, uh, get hit by these pipes or whatever. You're trying to fly in between. It's it's like you know you know that one uh, flash game the helicopter one where you're like trying to avoid the uh, 
No, I, that, I don't know that game. Yeah, uh, that's because you're fucking dumb, but... Um, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Basically. Right. So we've got the follow-up from Sheffy, bro. He says, Rectal prolapse is when your rectum <laughs> is falling out <laughs> of your anus. <laughs> I will not comment on that one. Oh, jeez. That's a little <laughs> freaky for my taste. I don't oh, blame you, bud. Okay, so Sid says he's out. Rip Sid. Rex, mm -hmm. where are you from, and do you make YouTube videos or live streams? Uh, I'm from Washington. I just won't give out the city for personal reasons. Okay. That's respectable. And no, I don't do live streams, or I have a YouTube account, but I never had the time to ever do video. I mean, I have the time, I just don't have the editing skills to do YouTube videos. I can show you some ropes if you want. Maybe get you a starter Maybe. package. Yeah. I mean, I have a webcam, but... And stuff, it's just trying to get... You can do vlogs. What? You can do vlogs. Vlogs are fun. Yeah. How do you know, Cy, so you and you've never made one? Oh, I mean, from a viewer pers per uh, pers perspective... <laughs> perspective, Jesus. I mean, a viewer technically... <laughs> <laughs> yep. What were you saying, Rex? Uh, I just I have no problem being on YouTube and stuff, but the problem is is trying to figure out what's what programs works and don't works because I'm not trying to make a name of myself or anything. It's just in that I just tried to figure out all that stuff some and that so I don't know it's a maybe okay we got a question here from Avent Season he says Rex have you ever thought of becoming a professional wrestler I, when I was a kid I had a wanted to become one so I so I can whoop I wanted to I wanted to but with my but as time progressed, I decided no, I couldn't handle the working all year and two. I, with my disability, my motor skills is not the greatest, so I wouldn't be like a good wrestler, like you know, like Jeff Hardy or The Rock or Daniel yeah. Bryan or CM Punk. Just yeah. know. All right, we've got an urgent message from Avon Seas here. He wants to know what your opinion on anal fissures. 56. 56. Yeah, anal fissures. <laughs> Maybe you can tell us what those are. Yeah. Uh, we aren't doctors here. Um, um, so. Yeah, but we've also got another question here. I don't know. I just want to kind of go through these since everyone's getting mad. But we've also got a question from Dark and Full of Terrors. He wants to know what your opinion on DSP is. I like DSP. He, I tried to talk to him on Skype a couple of times on his show, but he ignore, he doesn't ignore me or anything. I just feel like he just doesn't have the time to always talk to the people on Hate Live. But he's a pretty good guy. I like his style. Very funny and entertaining. And, and he really does care for his fan base. Because he... Because... He switched it from doing uh, videos from U just YouTube last year to direct to Twitch, so he's live streaming, and he did his hardcore giveaway season where he was giving back to the fans. What and was he giving away? Different games and stuff. Oh. He was cool, and this this year. When he, when he finalizes his website, thekingofhate.com, he's giving out giving away a PS4. Oh, I have to get in on on that one. <laughs> yeah. It's all random, of course. He used random.org, so there's going to be like hundreds of people. You, there's going to be like a form. Just say, I enter, you're in. Or you can subscribe to him on his Twitch, but that's paying five bucks a month. But that's a little... You're getting... And a lot of content for five bucks a month. Right? Maybe you should rent, uh, make the price a bit higher. Yeah. Maybe like a 
like seven. I don't know. Maybe you can have like a sub and then sub plus. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would, if I had the money, I would give him sub plus because I think he's doing a great job. All right. So moving on, we've got another chat question here. Trying to catch up. Rex, when was the first time you had sexual intercourse? Um, leave the uh, media. Never had it. That's okay. a bit too per. Okay, whatever. You can answer it. I was about to say. I don't know if you'd like to answer those personal questions because, I mean, we we wanna we wanna make sure that you're shown in the best light possible. You know, it's it, and if people in yeah. the chat are trying to make you look bad, I don't think that's nice. You can I choose what to answer and stuff. Just okay, okay. I'll do that from now on. All right. Yeah, don't don't feel like there's any pressure on you because sometimes people get that misconception and then, you know, it, it ends poorly. So we don't we don't stand for that. Yeah, that's a little yeah. Okay, so we got the follow up for the other question. Avency says an anal fissure is a tear in the lining of the lower rectum. <laughs> I'm not answering that question. Yeah, right. we're getting a next, lot of Next question. Rex, usually... what is your opinion on Panda Lee? Uh, Panda Lee's all right with me. I mean, I have nothing against her. Phil has a girlfriend. Uh, what he, uh, he loves her, and they should, I mean, as long as she's of age, obviously she is, and stuff, mm -hmm. and they love each other, let them be together. And right. the haters need to back off with her, if Phil wants to spend the rest of his life with her, or, or move in with her, or do games with her, that's their business, man. That's ta if you're a true fan of DSP, you should be accepting towards the that portion as well. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm accepting myself. I have to say. So we've got another chat question here. Rex, does your back hurt? Sometimes. All it's right. because I, uh, the reason why is because I have dead mark uh, je, je, jeans in my. I'm like two thirds Danish, so and I'm pretty tall myself, like six four, six five. Whoa. So, so basically, uh, um, what it's, with my back, it can hurt sometimes. But the majority of the time, it. But most of the time it doesn't hurt, but sometimes it does. So we'll just go with that. Happens to the best of us. All right. So moving on here, we've got another chat question. Do you think Cyber Demon is a faggot? Yes. No. Or no? no. All right. Nice. All right. We've got another chat question here from Avon Seas. Can you take this one, Lambent? Oh yeah. Wait. I can't. Wait. Let me read it. I was. I haven't been paying attention. Um. He says, Rex, did you know that DSP is the embodiment of professionalism and an all-around great guy? Yeah. Okay. What is your opinion on DSP's back hurting? Yeah, it sucks what happens, but stuff happens in life. Dang. I really feel bad for the guy, because... Uh, I really hope he moves to Seattle, though, so that I can meet him in person. You want to hang out with him and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> but that's a dream that may not happen, because he might go to Texas or Florida. Dang. Yeah, that's a bit far, but, you know, it, it, sometimes it's worth it, you know, to just... To... You can you can always tell him, like, if you come here, I'll be there for you, you know? <laughs> yeah, and you can give him a big old hug. I I'd travel cross country to get a nice hug, in the right context, you know, because or not right yeah. now, but maybe eventually. Oh my God, um, yeah. The thing, uh, can we keep the spam down, guys? You know, I'm I'm trying to run a professional show here, and you're just making it awful. You chat idiots. You toxic nerds. <laughs> yeah, destroyed. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got another yeah, chat question here. Rex, who is your favorite speedrunner? From Bill speed? Cosby. I don't know that one. I never... I never... I don't know what speedrunner is. Speedrunning is where you play a game with the objective of finishing it as fast as possible. 
Oh, game wise, okay. Yeah, games. Uh, one of my favorite ones would have to be Forced Unleash. Well, he's per- asking like a person, not not a game. Like, yeah, someone. like someone who plays the games really fast. Yeah. Uh, I would have to say uh, Tubby Emu. Okay. Because uh, he's also a machinima partner on YouTube. Oh, that's so. pretty cool. He also follows me on Twitter, Whoa. and nice. it's pretty cool because nice. he he don't he'll finish the games fast, but and that but he's he but his main thing is wrestling and stuff. But he plays also Call of Duty and other games. But he's pretty friendly. Cool. So um, all right, I'm just gonna try to scroll all the way down and get caught up with the chat. We have a question. Who is DSP? Dark Side Phil. Okay. Can you give us like a brief description of him? I guess this guy doesn't know who he is. Uh, DSP is a gamer on YouTube and Twitch, t- Twitch TV. His main channel is DSP Gaming, where he does a bunch of games and plays them. He also has a vlog called The King of Hate vlogs and that where he does vlog videos like updates on his games he also has a wrestling podcast with John Rambo called Smart Guys which I'm into and he's like a six foot six foot guy his name is Phil and that and he's pretty friendly from what I heard and seen from his videos and he's a very good guy. Okay. So, Rex, what is your favorite genre of video game and favorite video games overall? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, probably first person shooter or stuff where you have swords or lightsabers or whatever, mm. where you can just blast your opponents away. But one of my favorite games that I beated was probably Force Unleash because... That's a good game. Because Vader, it's like... I like playing Starkiller a lot because his story was very good Good because you find out hey, about his secret of Vader, secret apprentice, and then the end scene and all that stuff and the music. It's an overall good game. I agree. <laughs> Alright, so we got another chat question here from Skizzer. Um, what do you think of Machinima being f- faggots signing contracts with Microsoft about Xbox One where they can't say anything bad about it, getting paid I for positive that, reviews? I think that's stupid, man, because you should give your own opinion on on the, both the good and the bad on whatever you want. Like, if you don't like the PS4, you still like it, but if you want to admit the faults, then admit the faults too. Who? These fanboys or whatever need to chill out about saying, oh, the Xbox One's the better one than the PS4 and stuff, and it's so great. It's like, everyone needs to just, just give it whatever they want to say about it. Alright. I mean, you can't even play Bad Rats on Xbox One, so it's not even that great of a console in my opinion. Yeah, Bad Rats is really the only game Bad Rats is like the killer app, you know? It's gonna be the thing that really wins the console war one way or the other. And so far, it's not on other, either console, so it's Kinda really gonna out. be... Yeah, it's really gonna be hard for them to convince me to buy one, and you know, it's. Yeah. Now what so, suck? You know what sucks for a console right now is the Wii U. Yeah, that thing sucks. Like I two thought that screens. Was like what were they stand. thinking? It's like Nintendo is being stupid. Like they're trying to blame it on mobile devices now. It's like when are they gonna admit their own faults and listen to their customer base? But some people are stubborn. All right, so we got another chat question here. All right, Mr. Rex, are you in any way associated with the DSP Illuminati? What's that? 
I guess he's not associated with it. Then. I guess not. Or maybe he is, and he just doesn't know it yet. Hmm. I but anyway. I am with the DSP above it, Ollie. Sorry, it's just... Okay. I'm not. Alright, so moving on. Rex, what is your opinion on the Kojima World Order? Are you guys talking about the the guy that created the Metal Gear games? I yeah, think so. there's there's a fan made channel of DSP called the Kojima World Order. I don't, I don't care. Yeah, I don't, they, I don't care about them really too much. I mean, it's just another bunch of haters, if yeah. I'm correct, and. Don't give the trolls powers, pretty much. Just ignore them and stay positive. Move on, and let's go on to the next question, because I have no opinion on the haters. All right. Okay. Okay, um... Uh, chat question. Um, chat question. Rex, do you have a job? Question mark. I don't know why they want to know these things, but... I, I, I... Uh, job-wise... No, I don't, but I'm a homemaker at home, so I take care of the house and stuff. Oh, that, that might as well be a job. You're still doing something. Okay. All right, so moving <laughs> on. Do you think vaccines cause autism from Dark and Full of Terrors? Oh, jeez. That's a scientific one. Hmm. Vaccines? I don't know. In the 90s, that could have... That could have sucked, but, like, but I don't know, because for sure it could, but at the same time, you just don't know, because what I think created my autism was when I was bored. I didn't breathe for the first th <coughs> 30 minutes of my life. I mean, I was breathing, but not much or well, and I was purple. So, That's not good. but luckily I survived it. But because of that, my frontal lobe is damaged. Hmm. But I don't know for sure. It's different for each case. So, all right. So we've got another chat question here. Rex, can I dress you up as my waifu and peg you hard? Oh, jeez. Uh, no, thank you. All right, get rejected. There you go. <laughs> Uh, so, I have a question for me. Lambent, do you enjoy looking at wieners or touching them? I prefer eating them. Uh, a good a good bratwurst, you know, and I guess that would involve touching and looking, so yeah, I do like that a lot. Alright. Um, so, alright, one more question, then we're going to go into a new segment real quick. Okay. Um, what are your political and religious standings? Me or Lambent? Well, I guess everyone can answer that question. Okay, uh, I'll, I can answer first. Uh, my political standings are I don't really care, and my religious standings are uh, if you're religious, have fun. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. Ha! Alright, what about you, Rex? Um, uh, uh, first, uh, political standing, I don't give a crap because I don't trust the government with crap. It's like the Senate screwed up and so was the Obama and his old pre, pre cabinet and so was the F House of Representatives. So I don't give a crap. So I just don't trust anyone in the government right now. And, and religious-wise, I'm LDS, which is Latter-day Saints, but that's my... The nickname for that is Mormon, but... In that, but like I said... I donate the sitter or whatever and stuff, so whatever you do is your business, Cyber Demon. And All right. I don't want to offend you. Okay, so we're going to add someone else to the call real quick. And okay. Have a... Wait, who, what? What's going on? Oh. Yeah, he said he wanted to join in, so. Really? I haven't mm -hmm. talked to Wyler Rice in a while. <sighs> He's nice and chill. Yo, Wyler, what's poppin', hey. yo? Mm, nothing really. How have you been? Good. 
good, actually. That's good. You sound smart. Or not smart. Well, yeah, you always sound smart, but you sound uh, very happy and uh, all around good guy. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so we got Rex in the call, too. So if you guys want to, you know, introduce yourselves to each other, go ahead. My name's Rex. My name's Wilder. Your name is what? His name's Wilder. Wilder. I mean, Riley okay. Mm hmm. You can call him Wilder Wi Fi. No, don't. Okay. They, they no. do that, and it's kind of annoying. Okay. So, uh, Wilder, how's your day been so far? Pretty good, actually. I've had a nice day. That's nice. Any any snow in your area? Because I know the temperatures are getting kind of crazy. A lot of snow here in New Jersey. Oh, you're in New oh, Jersey, yeah. too? Yeah, I remember that now. I forgot. Oh, dang. Weiler and I have to meet up. CyberCon 2014. <laughs> CyberCon. <laughs> That'd be the worst place ever. <laughs> um, okay, we we actually have some chat questions for you, Wyler, since you just showed up. Um, right. How do you know Cyber Demon and Lambent if you even know them? Question mark. From El Marco Bender. Um, well, basically, we met. Well, of course, I knew you guys existed before then because um, I watched a lot of General Presents put it, you know, contents, but um. I guess the first time we actually talked was um on the on a, an episode of John Presents. It was what the episode? I can't remember which one. It's a while ago, but um yeah. Yeah, in the stream, yeah. I think it was like maybe sometime in early 2013. Yeah, it yeah. was when we were still uh, watching it because we don't really watch it anymore. All well, Cyber Demon and I. I don't watch it that often anymore either. Yeah, I don't know. It, 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 we don't, we don't, not like them or anything. It's just we don't, we do better things now. Mm. All right, yeah, so we got, we, we got um, another question for Rex actually. Right. Okay. All right, what do you think of Dark Souls, and should I speed run Dark Souls? I don't know too much about Dark Souls too much. Uh, I would probably take my time with it if it's a decent game. But okay. don't waste too much time on it either. All right. But, and that's all I have to say. Okay. Oh, so we you got have a... a question for me now. Jeez, I'm pretty popular today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lambent, why is M. Bison a Frenchman you cannot trust? Uh, M. Bison is actually from Portugal, um, and he's someone that you can't trust because he's an awful person. It has nothing to do with his nationality. So, live the Vita, I just want to give you a notice real quick. He can ask his own questions. Don't ask questions for him. Tell him to get in the stream himself. And we've got a chat question for Wylerl. How did you get the name Wyler Wi-Fi, and how is it to be a wireless hotspot? What? Ah, oh, that's a weird uh, one. Now, it was actually several years ago. In mm -hmm. I just thought, you know, a lot of people call me things like W, uh... Why people call me a lot of things, but I never really liked the names, so I decided, why not Wi-Fi? I mean, I'm a big tech person. I'm into most types of technology out there. Um, I'm a big gamer, do a lot of internet gaming, so I mean, why not? But then, after a long time, it started getting annoying. But yeah, and my real name is actually Wilder, so Whoa. that's kind of a given there. All right. All right. I think that answers the question well. All right, so we got another question for Wyler, um, or Wyler. How many fedoras do you own? <laughs> I am. I don't own a fedora. I don't think I do. Are you interested in getting one? Possibly at some point, actually. Fedoras are quite cool. Okay. <laughs> quite a random question, though. Well, I don't know. That's that's what the chat questions are giving us. I tip my fedora to you, sir. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, why, what can we expect from you as far as your internet gaming channel? Well, first, uh, you should explain, like, who you are and what you do on the internet. Yeah, yeah, just, just introduce us to you, because, you know, not everyone knows about the might of Wyler. 
Well, um, I just basically do gaming videos, uh, mess around videos with my friends. I will do anything from professional let's plays to, as I had said, m messing around. U usually, if I do mess around, it's usually some fun game that doesn't really have much of a story, like Black Ops or something like that. But you could often see either of those videos from me. And really, I'm just all about playing a game and kind of trying to have fun with it. I'm at least attempting to be entertaining to people. I mean, I I will never promote myself and say that I am, but I try. So, all right. All right. And I don't upload it ridiculously often. I try to upload at least once every couple of days. Although, right now I'm kind of falling behind. I was keeping up with a postal let's play for a little while, but uh, yeah, I, I got some good screen grabs from that. <laughs> but um. I've kind of been uh, losing track of it. I'm actually playing to upload another video in a little while. In fact, actually, I'm playing Loadout right now. Well, oh, not nice. recording it. Yeah, I've heard all right things about Loadout. Um, I thought it wasn't that great at first, but now I've actually gotten into it, like, in the past two days, and I'm actually really loving it. Well, it also helps that it's free. Yeah. There are some kind of pay-to-win aspects to it, but really you can get by without actually paying anything in the game. Alright, um, so we got a question for Wyler. Do you like fedoras more than cool mantits? Did you ever meet Mr. Cool Manist, by the way? I don't think I ever did, no. Oh, okay, well, I should introduce him to Oh, do we well, have I mean... to have him on sometime? Yeah, he might be on here eventually, but he's another person that Cyber Demon and I met through the show and whatnot, just like you. And he's he's a he's also someone who used to do professional let's play videos, but then now he just makes uh this like this shitty CBS show called Person of Interest. He makes like fan fiction for it or something. Yeah. Um, he's like really he, gone downhill. And that's he's really a, hard because he was pretty down the hill to begin with. He's a he's a fan of fedoras, so I don't know. They they're asking if you're a bigger fan of fedoras, but I think all that matters is that you like fedoras. You know, you can't be a bigger fan of a piece of clothing. You know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got another question, Wylerl. How do you feel about Cyberdemon Five Thirty One's fast let's plays, i.e., his Mega Man X Six speed runs? Hmm, I think it's actually quite a cool idea, and it, it seems interesting. I mean, I will probably never get into that sort of thing, considering I take gaming very seriously. <laughs> you okay, Max? I think about it. Yeah, but... just a bad cough. Alright. Uh, okay. Um, I think it's actually quite a cool idea, and I mean, I haven't seen many things out there like that. And honestly, you're quite good at what you do, I've seen, from what oh, I've nice. seen. So... I guess keep it up. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. So uh, going back to Rex here. Rex, how did you meet Cyberdemon and Lambent? Uh, through the show. Okay. That is where we meet everybody. And I met Cyberdemon on Skype. Yeah, I think Smart Guy introduced us. Yeah. But now I'm at war with him, so. He's a smart guy. Not really. That's why his username's pretty funny, is because. You wouldn't, if you met him and his name wasn't Smart Guy, that probably wouldn't be something that you called him, but... So, uh, Lambent, what's your opinion on the, the Imposters, uh, Steam group? Um... Oh, yeah, he, he invited me to that, and I joined it, because I didn't really think much of it. Uh, I don't know. Like, the right fully one, like, the one that was made by you is probably the better one because it had my YouTube channel all over it. <laughs> um, but, Your old YouTube channel. Yeah, my old one, but uh, I don't know. I don't really care. Like He's, he's going to have his little... Yeah, meat. it's just all the new kids who don't know. The old yeah, boys. They, they are an exp like, I heard that there is some Ramborgian fan poll of like who their favorite personalities were. And I wasn't even on the list. Like, how was do you I not put me on the list? I think you might have been. Yeah, all these, all like, these new it, kids don't know the good all old, these new old kids boys. on the block. Like, I, I was around the first one. Me too. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. The first live one I think I was on. I don't know. But 
it's whatever. You know, I I don't need them anymore. They're, All right. They're dead weight. <laughs> I agree. So um, I mean, they hated you. So, and I don't think they liked me very much either. <laughs> Because I knew you. So, Wyler, we got another question for you. Do you play games on the PS3? Um, yeah. The main console I own is the PS3. I actually All got right. an Xbox One uh, this oh, Christmas. Nice. Although, because I don't have many games on it at the moment, I haven't been playing it as much recently. And also, some of the games that have been released for it are not, <laughs> not up to what I expected. I played Dead Rising 3 and got bored of that fast. Some of the other games on it are pretty good, though. Assassin's Creed 4 being my favorite at the moment. Okay. Oh, there's actually a, a statement thrown in my direction. Uh, Landon, Orwind is objectively better than Oblivion. Get wrecked, nerd. It's, uh, can I, uh, chime in real quick? Nothing's objectively better than Well, anything. I just want to say that Morrowind is an awful video game, and I tried to play it, but the game wouldn't let me play it because it has an awful combat system that doesn't make any sense. Maybe it makes sense on, you know, paper, but it doesn't make sense in a fucking video game. If I'm yeah, gonna stab something combat. in the fucking face, if I'm gonna stab something in the face, how can it miss? Alright. Alright. Yeah, I've never played Morrowind, although I have to say Oblivion was a pretty great game, though. Yeah, I don't know if it's objective, like, it's not better by that much, if anything. Like, it's probably, I don't know, it's all about nostalgia, because if you look at it objectively, then you would see that Oblivion has a functional combat system, so that probably makes it objectively better, but you're not looking at it objectively, sir, no. You're not. You're a nostalgia goggle piece of shit. Yeah, you're like, uh, yeah, you're like all the internet, basically. Okay, so we got a question for Lampent. Why aren't you rich yet? Um, I don't know. I'm 18. I don't know many rich 18-year-olds. If you Ooh. want Lampent to become rich, you can give him money yeah, on his Patreon. Patreon.com slash Lampent. Throw as much money at me as you physically Feel free to drop can. a link in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll drop one. So, uh, Wylerl, what's your opinion on uh, Lampent's Patreon? Um... Patreon? Yeah. yeah sure. I should, uh, I should tell you what that is. Uh, Patreon is a site where it's like a monthly Kickstarter thing where huh. people can donate money to you monthly. I have one as well. Hmm. Yeah, we both have one because we want to see how much money we can make. But, um, yeah, that's basically what it is. Huh. Just, you can also get neat rewards. So if you ever want, yeah. like... Something. I have donation goals and stuff like you can buy an hour of my time for twenty dollars per month. It's pretty. You should nice. definitely consider becoming a supporter. So uh, back to the chat questions here. Uh, Weiler, what is your opinion on Rex, and I guess vice versa as well? Um, I think he's pretty cool so far. Although I don't, of course, I don't really know him, and he hasn't talked much so far. But he seems like a cool person. Yeah, we talked to him a lot more before you came on. So, so, Rex, what do you think about Wyler so far? Yeah, he seems pretty cool and knowledgeable. Nice. Like I said, I don't know the guy well, but based on what the question is answered, he seems pretty cool. Rex, what are you planning to do for Valentine's Day from Live the Vita? Probably spend it with my brother because it's his birthday. Oh, nice. What are you guys going to do? Uh, probably just go up. My family is going to probably take him out to dinner and stuff <laughs> and just celebrate his birthday. That's about it. All right. So uh, we got another question here. Um, can you guys make Rex a co-host? I don't know about that. What do you think about that, Rex? Uh, <laughs> it can be done and stuff. We can have a Rex segment, like, every week. Get yeah, I don't, like five I don't know if it, it, like, personally, the co-host thing, that makes it a bit harder for the show to go on, because, you know, we have, then we need three people, and it's hard enough just to get both of us. It's hard know. enough to get Lambit well, to come here on time. Schedule, yeah, yeah. I have a free schedule, but I don't think I can, I can probably do this, I can probably do a Rex segment, but not a co-host. All right. Okay. Well, we'll meet you halfway, maybe. We'll see. We'll see now. what we can get going on here. Mm -hmm. So we got a question for Wylerl. 
Uh, can I dress you up as my waifu and peg you hard from Cerno Beats Sinai? Jeez. Um, hard hitter. Not quite, no. Alright, there you go. <laughs> answer yeah, respectable answer. Rex and Wylerl, how do you feel about boss of this gym? From Sheffy, bro. Hold on. Can I just say something? Sure. I think somebody who's playing loadout with me actually knows me. Because somebody just said in the chat, Wylerl, I fucking hate you. And, uh. What, yeah. what chat are you looking at? I don't see that. Um, I'm talking about in loadout. I think somebody in tier knows oh. me. I'm not sure. What's his name? <laughs> Um, oh crap, I didn't catch it. That's, that's odd. I'd never seen that happen before. Dang. You're famous. <laughs> Alright, so All right. we got a question uh, from uh, Captain31. I'm busy right now. Oh, you're busy? Uh, okay, do you, you need to go, Rex? Cause if no, you need... I was telling my sister I was busy. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, Maybe we can get your sister on sometime. Uh, no, thank you. She's not into this stuff. All right, gang. Okay. Sounds good. So, Wylerl, do you play GTA V on PS3? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Okay. That's a good answer. So, Rex, what do you think of hashtag vintage ancestral parties? Question what? Jeez. I don't. I don't really even know what that is. I don't either, and if it has anything to do with incest, no thank you. Ugh. Okay. Uh, so, uh, can you guys give us, like, a brief summary of what you do? Because we got some new guys in. We, now, that we, they've been here, uh, huh? Cyber Demon. I think they're just being are difficult they, are they, are they trolls. Are they, they are being right. trolls. I'm going to give them a timeout for... Yeah, I'm out and bison. That is a troll. No trolling here, okay, guys? We are... This is a privilege right now, okay? The, this isn't a privilege uh, that you should abuse or it will be taken. That's, that's, that's accurate. Yep. Ask so, uh, me about that hashtag. I don't care about a dumb hashtag, Ram. Like, I really don't care. Yeah. Neither do I. Alright, yeah, so let's let's go reverse here. Do you, uh, Rex and Wyler, do you guys have any questions for the chat? Or us? <laughs> um, me? Not really, no. Alright. Okay. That's respectable. What about you, Rex? What's the question? Well, I mean, we're asking you if you have questions for us. No. No. Okay. No, not really. Alright. Alright. Okay, so we got a we got a question from Captain Thirty One, but I'm pretty sure we already went over this. But he's just asking, why do you not like porn? Uh, I like to keep that to myself, thank you. All right. Just want to point out that Captain ties up and cages women, so I don't know if he's going to be the right person to <laughs> ask this yeah. kind of question. I could understand why he likes porn because you know he's a horrible person. So, Wylerl and Rex, what is your opinion on lollies with Big Johnsons? What's <laughs> that? Uh, uh, it's, it, it's actually um, uh, it's a form of interactive novels on the internet. With uh, Big Johnson is also a slang term for uh, big heart. So it's, about, it's interactive novels about people with big hearts. I uh, I don't have an opinion on that. Okay. What about you, Wyler? Um, I don't know novels on people with big hearts. I guess. So I, mean, I don't see the harm in it. Yeah, I guess. That's um, okay. All right. So, got a question for me? Can you read it, Lambent? Uh oh, a cyber demon. Are you going to get a? PS4 or Xbox One? Uh, no. So we got a question for Wylerl and Rex. What is your opinion on R slash girl gamers? Oh, and if you don't understand the R slash part, it's a uh, subreddit. Reddit. Yeah, it's it's a Reddit thing. It's just a group. Like So the group would be called girl gamers. 
I, I think girl gamers are all right. I feel like okay. Uh, what about you, Wyler? It's fine, I guess. All okay. Right. Uh, we have an advertisement from Ram the Bomb. Uh, Ram, you have to donate to Patreon to get advertisement rights. Yep. Particularly so, me, since I own this channel. Yeah, and then that will go to a percentage of that goes to Lamb Corp. So, Lamb. which is my parent company. They're the ones who who send me my checks. Who's in charge uh, of that, Blake? No, that's me too. Can we have Blake on Gaming Talk Live? I mean, I don't. He no. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Rex and Weiler, how skinny or how shiny? Is your white knight armor? Ah, oh, he's implying that you guys own armor. That's a bit odd. I don't have armor. Okay, well then it's not very shiny. How about you, Wylerl? Again, don't really own armor. Yep. You should consider getting some armor. You never know, like, someone might come in your house, try to rob you. Mm. Get a machete, not like, it just pings off your chest plate. Not mystery scientist says hello podcast and then a bunch of parenthesis 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 colon. Nice. Yep. Um. Hello, light cutlass. O slash. What does O slash mean? Uh, it's like a Cheerio, but with like a fork in it. All right. Or a spoon. This Ram Borgian Ram whatever says sell up money for DSP Junior. This guy, I think he's just trying to rile up the stream. We are not going to be riled up by him though. We're just going to let his trolling, you know, just sit there and and uh, yeah. yeah. You know, you don't you don't want to feed these guys because they'll just come back. At, they'll just waste your your time. Also, you know, food is kind of rare these days. Make sure. And you I wanna... think we probably want to skip the next couple of questions about me. Yeah, yeah, I I, I don't like those questions either. Um, <clears throat> so, what's your so... opinion on French Hitler, aka and Bison Fute? I don't know. He's some yeah. guy who streams on Twitch and bans people for well, like, just watching his stream. Like you just say hi and then he bans you. That's stupid. Yeah, he's in the chat right now. Do you want to like tell him anything? <laughs> Is it really in the chat? Yeah, and Bison Fute. So he bans people who are just saying hello. Yep, that's what happened to not mystery scientist. He told me about it. Well, dude, you got some issues, dude. It's well, like it, you mad? Wow. Okay. Let's move on. All right, Wylerl, do you believe Cyberdemon 531 would make a beautiful trap? Wait, what? Do you believe that Cyberdemon 531 would make a beautiful trap? Beautiful trap? Yes. Apparently. Um. Like a trap door, like it opens up and then you fall through. Hmm. Um. Interesting question. Except I, I would be the trap door. Um. I don't. I don't really know how to answer that. That's uh. It's kind of odd. All right. So Rex, would you ever wear a pair of greasy shorts? No. All right. Well, let's ask Wyler too. What about you, Wyler? No. All right. Wylerl, what is your favorite game genre and favorite game? Hmm, that's a hard one actually. Um, I have two favorite games, one that I play on PC and one that I play on console. My favorite genre would definitely have to be like a, would have to definitely be like RPG, um, fighting game, basically build up your character and fight with them. Right. Um, and my favorite game for PC would either have to be Oblivion or Skyrim, one or the other. Um, okay. Both are pretty similar, though. Um, and my favorite game for console would definitely have to be Alpha Protocol. Dang, Alpha Protocol. Alright. All right. So. Alright. Alright. 
the managers. So, so Rex, Rex, what is your what opinion is on gay marriage gay? from Live the Vida? Uh, I don't want to answer that because that will cause that will be good. All right, All right. that's All righty. <laughs> um. Okay, I think we've answered all the questions. <sighs> yeah, we definitely have. Um, so, you'd like to thank you two for being on the Gaming Talk Live podcast. I mean, we've had uh, some rocky encounters with... Whoa, certain... whoa! Okay, with the, with, with the Wait, past... Wait, shh, shh, What? I think someone's... I think someone's broken in my house. Back. Okay. Well, um, so yeah, we we like to thank you too for being uh, some of the first guests on the Gaming Talk Live podcast that weren't uh, bad people because we had one bad person on before. But you know, it's all right. You know, you, you meet people, and sometimes they aren't the best this, out there. This, this is a joke. Okay, well, Cyber Demon's apparently getting robbed, so. Um, I, I just I just heard the front door open. Should, okay. Should I, should I go check? I mean, I I don't think you're actually getting robbed, so. Oh, well, I don't know if they're gonna rob me or. I don't... Well, I'm gonna. You I'm should gonna go you check. should probably write your will. Okay. Need some impressive writing skills. You got that fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs>